What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the MJ here. Welcome to you guys back to some more song a lot. Hopefully, y'all are having a splendid day. Today, 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 I don't know what the heck we're doing. I remember last episode, I was triggered with Nomura for uh, promising me some Deli Bird and didn't show me where the Deli Bird store was. Did I look up the Deli Bird store and do things that I like to figure out where the heck it is? No. I, 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 it, if you tell me about a store and you enjoy the store, you should show me where the store is. Like, for example, let's say that like a friend was like, oh, I really like this clothing store. Let's go, let's go together, let's have a great time. I think that, th that that's just how I am naturally, is if I, and if I, I do the same thing, it's like, hey, I recommend this place, let's go. Not, hey, this place exists, bye. It's like, okay. But, like, I know that some people would enjoy that. The, hey, this place exists, bye, kind of mentality. But it's fine. Welcome to Uba Academy. We're here. Guess what? This is the entrance hall. No. What? The entrance hall is where I enter? Wow. I'm so shell-shocked by that. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me. And those halls off to the sides lead to different parts of the school. Totally big enough to let loose and battle here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Some reason, I don't know, maybe because, you know, I would be using a Steelix to battle and then it'd be bad, or Whale Lord, or anything. Master John, Miss Namora. How'd you find your first school commute? Uh, we had a blast. It was great. Um, definitely not tough at all. Um, definitely. Namora didn't definitely scare me off of this. Nuzlocke or anything. Sorry to hang up. Namora is such a true asset to this academy. She's a, a champion rank student council president. Reliable as ever. Well, I know how to look uh, after my friends, right? I know better than anyone how to do that. It's like, are you sure about that? You almost killed me. You actually killed my first Pokemon, so I don't know if you're good at looking out. Oh, speaking of which, we saw some Team Star Kids down in town, Director. You did? Oh my god, where? We gotta go, we gotta go get them now. It was down the stairs, the front gates. They were hassling the kid with an Eevee backpack. This is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, John flexed on him and ran off. Oh my god. Did I, did Nomura just say that I flexed on them? Oh my god! I. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get into newer. You know, slang was fine, right? Slang is fine, right? But also, I kind of forget that we're getting. We're, we're in present day. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Props to the teacher for knowing what that meant. Of course, it's fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master John. But you might wish to be a, or wish to show a bit of restraint as well, and find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Namora, do you remember the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles? Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an EV backpack, you say? I suppose you might be. It, that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved that she's come home, come to class at least. Ah, Mr. Mora. If if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about this Team Star business. Please tell me that Mr. Jacques is the buff dude. I don't know what he looks like, but I know that there's a buff dude in this game, and it, it's a great. It would be a great play on words. Please, as your home room teacher, he should be kept appraised on all such things going on. You got it, sir. Ah, uh, but look at the time. You two better hurry along to class. Class will be starting soon. We're in this class. This class that we just said you can sign up for classes, but I am volunteering you to go to this class. But what if I wanted to pick my classes? Good morning, Mr. Ah, good morning, Mr. Jacques. Hello, 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 everyone. We have exciting news this morning, and who wants to hear it? Oh, me. I want to hear the good news. 
I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I don't even see me in. Am I just blind? Because I don't. I didn't. I don't. Oh, dude. I probably enter. Is this like a persona moment? I literally enter and go right behind Amora. I wonder what they'll be like. All right. You can come on in now. This is. This is straight up a persona moment, which scares me. Because it, it is literally the exact same seat that you sit in in persona as well. Could I trouble you to introduce, uh, could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure! Did you hear that? He seems super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, John. Alright then, who wants to ask the first new question? Me, 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 can I ask a question? I can't see who it is! Game! Uh, is it, who's asking the question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like everything. Really? Awesome. Totally the same. Does everyone else have a question for our new classmate, Namora? Yep. Fucking called it. <laughs> Me, I have a question. You went through all the trouble of enrolling here, so spell, John. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? I want to be a strong trainer like you, Namora. Oh, you will be. I just know it. You and me are going to get get so strong battling together oh well thank you for telling us a bit about yourself i am mr jock i teach biology here at the academy i'm also your homeroom teacher just so you know take your seats second row in the front yep we literally get the same seat in persona all right you ragamuffins nice to meet you for ni be nice and friendly to your new classmate Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. Biology class is available. Math is available. And a battle class is available. You can now move around the school. Cool. We can go to math class. I think, you know, I want to go to math class. Let's go to math class. Your, your and Nomura's classroom for students in general studies. In the general studies track. Mr. Jacques is the homeroom teacher. Staff room, a room uh, for the faculty. You're likely to run into various teachers here. Uh, the kind ladies working in the cafeteria make delicious, nutritious fare every day. I want to meet some teachers. Uh, maybe I can meet Shady Penguin. I uh, really want to meet Shady Penguin. Uh, give me the Shady Penguin. Oh, there's a bunch of teachers here. <gasps> oh, hi. I think I know the girl. Very well, Champion Namora. I trust you to handle this in my steed. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Who is that? She looked awesome. Piqued your interest, huh? That lady? Well, let's call her La Prima. The first. She's the first. Okay. Um, she's strong, so she can pretty much do anything. And she's got cool practically... Wait. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be. Or that any Pokemon trainer should want to be anyways. Oh, so, okay. That should, thanks for giving me who she is. I appreciate it. Oh, that reminds me. Remember at home when I asked what your dream was? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should reach champion like rank like me. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'll totally do that. Um, I don't know what that means. So, I'm just gonna... Can you explain more about what that means? Ah, uh, a talent like you deserves to be used. Hear me out. This is what I was expecting. Tell me more. Champ, tra the trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really, really, really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. Well, considering I'm a, a, a seven-time champion, we should be able to do this. You don't have to prove yourself the po to the Pokemon League official to get official title of champion. 
And to do that, you've got to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that is left is take a special test, the champion assessment, aka the Elite Four. And once you pass that, then you at long last you become the champion. And every Pokemon trainer, it's every Pokemon trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Now, not to brag or anything, I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, our, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've got going here. It should happen soon. One last, our one, last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You have to leave the school and go on an adventure and learn however you want. I guess that you could say that my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found, maybe. I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for, though. Anyways, I got a feeling I've, I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations on your map app. In case you go decide, you decide to go for it. It's almost like you know that I have to. There you go. An app transfer. That'd be... Uh... Okay, so here is the time I should probably tell you guys what is going on. So, because now that we see all the gym leaders, obviously, I can literally face them in any order. Well, we're not doing that. So, we have a specific order in which we are taking these people on. And unfortunately, there is no thing, no nothing called linear progression, apparently. So great, so grand, so lovely. So my friend Dawn um, sent me a lovely thing showing the order of which the gym leaders are. Thank you, Dawn. We do appreciate you. It is a big help in this case. Um, there's also another thing in this game called, I think, Titans or something. And what they do... They do something completely different. So let me go ahead and pull it up. Our first one is the bug, the bug gym. That I can tell you for a fact is the one that we're going for first. Um, because there, there it is. Okay, it is Corando gym, Atrazon gym. So it goes from bug to grass, and then the next one is Lavetica. Yeah, it's all over the map. Cortando, Atrazon, Lavenica, Casacofa, Medelli, Montrevra, and then Alfonda to Glissando. Glissando, all over the map. Victory Road. What? We're not there already. Give it some thought, okay? Battle class is available. But I want to I go to math class. Let me go to math class. Okay, also, who are these teachers? I want to talk to them. A lot of teachers here are really colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. Probably have to go to the cafeteria. Even though I don't necessarily want to, because food is just eh. <clears throat> I gotta talk to you, probably. Oh, hey, so we meet again. Hi, Avrin. How are you? Or Arvin. You remember me, right? Oh, yeah, from the lighthouse. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all, buddy. Got a mind like... Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? No need to tell you me your name. John, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't bother showing up for class, but I came all this way to school today. 
just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. I mean, you know, there's there there's only one question. Only not question. There's only one request. If I help you out, then you gotta show me the beautiful man himself, okay? But I'm definitely helping. I'm happy to help you out. This is probably like the next the next thing. What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what they're agreeing to? I mean, uh, I say yes because I get to see Shady Penguin. That's literally... <laughs> I'm a little crazy. It's fine. It's chill. It's whatever. Well, this might come to a surprise, but the fact is I'm all about the picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. Not half bad cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food. See... I found a book the other day, and it had a section about the Herba Mystica things. Basically, some kind of special herbs that heal up Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now, there are five different types of his Herba Mystica, based on what I read. Just taking a lick of one of them, they've powered, the, or been, <clears throat> they've been powdered. Well, oh, once they've been powdered, we'll get your blood flowing. Provided, uh, provide nutrients, prevent aging, it'll even boost the immune system. The herbs seem like they're real deal, only found here in Padela, Paldea, and a rare, and they're rare to boot. But this book says they are guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's pretty tough to try and grab a few springs or sprigs, because the Titans are well, well, I think they've got to be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further to Area Zero, we've been caught in glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though, we wondered if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured a photograph of Chance. By chance, I noticed passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawnfan. Yet, differences such as texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. Something to say nothing of the treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not good at Pokemon battling. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yes, I will help you out. Nomura, I'm like, eh, I don't know yet. I need to figure it out, even though technically Nomura's got me on a, a quest that I have to fulfill. Uh, well, have to fulfill, because it's an Ezlock. Um, Because in this game, I don't have to fulfill that. I don't have to do that. But, <clears throat> yeah, I will take your side quest on. Nope, wait, I don't need you to answer yet. You already got my answer. It's a yes. I don't even mind if we hang out, to be honest. We can hang out and do stuff. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map app for you. Oh my god, I love his phone! I love his phone so much. Oh my god, his phone's amazing. Um, sorry. His phone is... His phone is glorious, okay? That was that was a beautiful... I would love... I would totally... I would rock that. I would rock that, Averin. I would totally rock that phone. It's, it's a Flabebe phone? Yes. Oh my god, I need that. Path of Legends. <clears throat> oh, it's the quest titles. Okay, let me stew a bit. Can we get more into the details later? And in the meantime, take this. It's a little gift for listening and all. A bag of stardust. Thank you, Averin. I'm going to call him Averin, and then you guys are going to get so mad because his name is Arvin. But it's fine. <laughs> it, it, uh, Arvin and Averin is just the same person. It's okay. Uh, give the idea some serious thought, please. Arvin, you, you got it already, buddy. Rodo, do, 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 do. This is John, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Suspicious man, I love it. Um, yes, you can talk to me all you want. But I can't... I don't have that option, though. Talk to me all you want, baby. Is the option I would really like. I'm sorry, but who are you? 
My name is Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It is you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If the decision is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask you. Tell me. You know about Team Star, right? Yes? Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They've caused some real headaches for our school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come to a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure. Why not? Accept all the quests and then do what I need to do. No need to reply right this second. I just said yes! Uh, literally both Arvid and freaking Cassiopeia were like, don't need to tell me right this second even though I gave you a yes or no answer. Like, what else am I supposed to say? Literally nothing because it's the game. But like, if, I, if I'm if i getting a yes or no question, give me the, let me get, let me answer. Or say, you don't need to, you don't need to tell me right this second, but let me know what your thought process is. Till then, leave it to ya. Operation Starfall is gonna be the... Ah, Master John. Please do try and keep your voice down when you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. Oh, you don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Why do I feel like he's actually like Team Star's leader or something? Team Star, you say? Ding, 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 dong! Calling Master John to the director's office, please. Once again, Master John to the director's office, please. I'm getting in trouble. Called it! Okay, where do I go? I need to go to the master's office. Where's that? Can you show me where that is? Oh, there it is. I knew it! Thank you for coming, Mr. John. Have you been enjoying your time in Yuva Academy? Yes, I have. The most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering... Why could I not have simply con conserved earlier in the cafeteria? But let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet here in my office. Seems that a friend of mine had a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. This is Cassiopeia. Are we going to meet Cassiopeia? Oh no, I'm afraid they're not actually here. This room was just is in actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Allow us to connect. Cassiopeia, please. Do we actually get to see? <gasps> ah, it's shading! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. I need to gather myself. I need to gather myself a minute. I was not expecting to see Shady Penguin. I'm... <laughs> I'm so red. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's carry on. Okay. It's first week of the month too, which does not help this situation. But it's okay. We're fine. Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Professor Toro. I'll carry on. Oh my god, I can't even read this. I'm just like... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna continue reading a little bit. But like, I'm gonna have you guys read it because I can't. I literally can't. I'm like... Oh my god. Okay. Area Zero. Oh my god, this is so amazing. <laughs> I'm way too happy. The professor is, in fact, 
gratitude of her fine academy Spl and a splendid researcher. Well, there's many things that he can research. It's fine. Allow me to get straight to the point. John, student ID number 805C393. You're the student who travels with unusual Pokemon Maridon, is that correct? Yes. Well, I appreciate you being on honest and confirming the facts. I mean, it's Shady Penguin. It's Shady Penguin. I'm literally like an open book when it comes to Shady Penguin. Shady Penguin, one of the few people that can literally like make me tell my whole story. Joy is the only other person. For two totally different reasons. Yes. <laughs> literally, like, it's funny though when you think about it. It's literally shady and joy. Two people that literally be like, "Hey, um, here's you can read through my like pages of work if you want." Oh, now that I, I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Can I just say yes? Actually, funny enough, I literally complained about being, just having a yes or no question. But, like, yes, I'll help you out with anything. Things more than others, but I'll help you out with anything. How, how'd you get... <clears throat> how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since the last time we met. Maridon wants what's in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assumed you received it with the from a young man called Arvin. I mean, yes, I received it from your son. It's fine. I am no longer in a position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is why I will ask you, will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? Yes! Uh, special attachment. I do appreciate your agreement. Quite literally, it's got a special attachment now. Um, you know, that's how that works. Maridon has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take the form of specialized mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain its capabilities it once had. It will provide you with my. I will provide. Ah! No! 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 I can't accept that. I, I, there's so much dangerous things I'd do with that information. Not really. But also, yes, there would be. Knowing me, I'd probably say something stupid. Uh, I'd probably curse. Like, I would probably do what Ryan did. Literally F-bomb in front of the penguin himself. Oh my gosh. I like how we got his car. We got a picture of him too! Oh, there's so many bad things that I could. Oh. Okay, I I gotta pull it together. I gotta rate it in a little bit, and we have a special tab for him too, apparently. <laughs> Which is totally true. Expose me, game. You can expose me. That's fine. I definitely don't have, you know, things to be exposed by. I definitely don't have a pinned section in one of my DMs specifically for that. Oh my god, game. Why do you have to expose me like that? <sighs> Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Turo, don't tell me you actually did it. Okay, why is Clavin actually... You, you, Clavin, just know, or Clavel, just know that if it's a, a battle between you and Shady, I'm picking Shady 10 times out of 10. I'm sorry, but it's freaking Shady. Like, okay, I pick Shady 10 times out of 10. Oh, d d don't pick a fight with him, okay? <laughs> of course, the Academy is always here to support you in a way that we, that we are able. I do hope to continue your enjoyment of the life together with Maridon. Yeah, um, cool. Uh, on that note, I should probably end today's that Oh, frick. I... Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Namora. I'm blushing. Namora. Namora, now's not a good time, girl.
Ah, oh, getting called into the director's office your first day. How'd you let a hand in that much trouble already? Nah, I'm kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Namora? Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. You have your own <laughs> private room! Cool, but I can dream about Shady Penguin in my dry private room. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a private area because we met Shady Penguin and I need it. For the day, this is your room. Actually, it is new to me. It, it as new to me as it is to you. It's never been here before. Maybe you should check out your new bed. It looks comfy, and you must be pretty worn out after all this. Yes, I'm worn out because I met Shady Penguin. That is why I'm worn out, actually. Not because I had to walk all the way to school. Not because of the Pokemon battles. Literally because Shady Penguin. So thank you. I'm gonna go to sleep now and pretend that like that did happen. So that way. Um, yeah, anyways, um, thank you, Namora. I do appreciate it. Glad you left the house. Um, because in the next episode, I'm gonna calm myself down because, oh my god, we met Shady, and uh, sorry you guys got to literally see my squealing self. It's fine though. Um, you know, I'm just def totally streaming off the chandelier. It's fine. No Pokemon battles in today's episode, but we'll see you guys in the next episode. Love you.